This is the story of George, Robin, and Connie, our 2008 Kawasaki Concor 14. Most of Connie's early life involved me riding around the countryside, but due to the recent purchase of our toy hauler camper, it has enabled us to take Connie on trips where Robin and I have both been able to ride together in some beautiful distant and historic places. George and Robin. George and Robin make it to the Grand Canyon. Yay. On our little excursion. Hey Robin. Hi. That's pretty amazing. because for once we're at a place where we like the view. No more Walmart parking lot tonight. Hey baby, what do you think of that? Oh, I could get used to that, hon. Baby, go relax. <laughs> That's pretty fabulous. One of the things that is very important to the sport touring motorcycle nut is going to be tires. And while there's a lot of things I'm not too picky about, one thing that I can tell you I'm very opinionated on is tires. And the original Bridgestone Battle Axe tires on the Concorde 14, I believe, did that motorcycle a huge injustice for the abilities and capabilities that that motorcycle has. My experience with the Bridgestone tires, not only on my Concorde 14, but also my previous Kawasaki Z1000, were that as soon as I went from those tires to something like a Michelin Pilot, I could immediately feel a drastic increase in cornering confidence and uh, the very quick turn in that those tires provided rolling into the lovely curvy roads and turns that exist in Washington State on many of the highways. At just under 10,000 miles, I got a set of Dunlop qualifiers for dirt cheap that I put on my Concorde 14 for a trip down the California coast and over to Yosemite, Death Valley, Las Vegas, and back up to Washington. Just south of Crescent City. How's it going, George? It's going good. Having fun? We're having a blast. Beautiful. These are the bikes. Got James over here and Richard. Look at the coast. It's awesome. This is awesome. How's it going, James? Awesome. Yeah? Just walk this guy out. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Look at all that. The Dunlop Qualifier Tires did a fantastic job of taking me on some amazing roads and always providing a wonderful, confident feel to them. However, 
that set of tires lasted all of about 10 days on that trip. As when I rolled into Washington State, I literally was showing cords on the back tire. Yeah. You can even tell from this picture, which was just right after that trip, they're pretty worn down. I scraped by commuting on those well-worn Dunlop qualifier tires for a little while before moving back to the Olympic Peninsula in Washington and putting on a new set of the dual compound Michelin Pilot road tires that had just recently come out. And those tires always had a fantastic feedback and feel. And the rear tire lasted just under or around 8,000 miles, while the front tire lasted well into the teens. As preparing for a trip for Texas, I put on a Pirelli Angel Demon rear tire that had just come out. That was a dual compound high mileage tire and left on the pilot road on the front of the motorcycle as you can see in these pictures and that trip when i started out my concord 14 had around 21,000 miles on the odometer Spot. Oh, hey, spot. Hey, Spud. 
<gasps> Hi, Spud. I see you. <laughs> Spud, what's Daddy doing? I have to thank our little fuzzy butt, Ozzy, for this picture in 2012 sitting on top of a very well-worn Pirelli Angel Demon tire. Proud Papa. Hello. Oh. He's a very good kid here. He's just got his eyes blue. Sorry, little buddy, but I gotta go to bed. I gotta go clean up. It's bedtime. Sorry, buddy. I gotta go. It's bedtime. Before having moved to Texas, we put a new matching Pirelli Angel Demon tire on the front of our Concor 14, and it was with that tire and the old Pirelli Angel Demon tire on the rear that I went to Washington for another trip and picked up my green 1979 Ford F-250 and brought it back to Texas with the Concorde on a trailer. With those same tires on the motorcycle, I was able to make a trip up to Durango, Colorado to ride the Million Dollar Highway, and then back to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then back into Texas. While I have to give very high marks for my very first set of Pirelli Angel Demon tires. The negative side of those tires is that I always felt like their cornering turn in feel was much more vague and not nearly as confidence inspiring as all of the Michelin Pilot Road tires that I have had through the years. Well, I can't contribute much to this conversation because I know bupkis about tires, but I do know this was a really fun trip. I uh, hadn't gone anywhere for quite a while, and so this was our our trip to break in the camper and go for a ride on Connie, and what better place than San Clemente, California? It was February, and it was it was surprisingly around 80 degrees. Santa didn't bring any shorts or bathing suits, so I got to watch everybody play and frolic in the water, but I did not quite have the right outfits for that. But we still had a pretty good time there. I'd love to go again. As I stated earlier, this video was originally inspired by how many miles I got on one rear Pirelli Angel Demon Tire in particular, as the odometer readings on our motorcycle, I think, really go a long way to verify that we got right at 20,000 miles on one rear tire, which was just amazing. Speaking of racking up mileage, this is the trip that I messed my knees up pretty badly on. I think it was just more hours of ride time than what my body could handle at the at the time and it caused swelling under both of my patellas so I wasn't able to ride on the back of Connie for about a year after this trip and I did the usual heat and ice and anti-inflammatories but nothing really seemed to help till I started doing trigger point therapy which really seemed to help relax the really tight muscles and help things to calm down enough for the swelling to subside so now I'm able to get back on the back of the Connie again and have fun again well it's been nice to have Robin back on the bike I have also enjoyed going to Colorado on a guy ride where I had a chance to put the new Pirelli Angel Demon tires to the test <laughs>
So here we go up the road. This is amazing. this fantastic is this right here. Unreal. Unfreaking real. With the new Pirelli Angel Demon tires on the Concours, I have been very impressed with their long-term wear and tear as well as their handling this go-round. I feel as though this newer generation of tire is much more connected to the road and has much less vague feel and input when hitting very tight turns and sharp curves. Robin and I have had some really great experiences riding some amazing Texas roads, testing out these new tires, as well as me and Michael having gone to Colorado to ride some amazing roads up there, really putting these tires to the test. And I've been really pleased with them. Fifty thousand two hundred and ninety five miles. We are just shy of 10,000 miles being on these Pirelli Angel Demon tires. And I'm going to go ahead and pull them off because I've got these tire plugs in it. But I'm going to go ahead and take this motorcycle in and put some uh, new Michelin Pilot Road 4s on there. We're going to give those a shot, see how they handle. Robin and I jokingly call our Concor 14 Connie our love child, seeing as how we've had it since a month before we got married. And I just can't say enough good things about how dependable and how much fun this motorcycle has provided to myself and Robin. So we now have our Michelin Pilot Road 4 tires, our new Alpine Stars. We are ready to test these pilots out. Pilot Road 4. Yes, indeedy. 19050ZR17. I'm going to take this little motorcycle for a spin. And we are sitting at 50,000. 301 miles. Here we are at Palo Duro Canyon, which I did not know even existed until George told me about it. It's the second largest canyon in America. This is the first time you've been on Connie in a year. A yesterday, year. Yesterday, yesterday technically was. It's over a year since you've been on this motorcycle. Because of my swelling under my patella. Not fun. And for our trip, we came to Palo Dura Canyon. Palo Duro. Hello, folks. Hello. Hello. Nice. Let's ride, baby. All right. right. Let's go. You ready to make some tracks? Let's do it, baby. I think all of our cameras are running, hon, so I think we're good. All 18 of our cameras? <laughs> nah. 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 Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yep. I might call that overkill. 
So we are leaving our spot at the Mesquite Campground. Goodbye, spot number 90. Spot 88's awesome. Spot 87's awesome. There's really not a bad view in the house here, is there? Mm -hmm. This has really got an awesome view of this. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome to be right up against that rock. Mm -hmm. Going up! Going up! <laughs> Out. Not getting near the left part of the lane because campers, that doesn't take much. I mean, we're not even pulling a long camper and we were still crossing the lines in a couple spots. Woo! Here's the dip. We're going to hit a dip. <laughs> this was such an awesome camping trip. The beautiful scenery and the fact that you were able to ride your motorcycle through it just added to the fun. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to ride the burrows down the Grand Canyon, but my health obviously won't allow me to do that now. So this was the next best thing. So we really enjoyed this trip, and I'd highly recommend it to you other motorcycle riders. That is so cool. That's beautiful. So glad, so glad the sun came out. Ah, this is the life. Glass of wine, beautiful view, and Connie. Finally, we move on to the Twisted Sisters. A lot of these pictures were my idea. I know a good photo op when I see one. I kept bugging George to pull over so we could take certain pictures with these signs and even though it was a, a lot of work to back up and stuff, he admitted that some of them were really good pictures. This one even made it to his screensaver on his cell phone. I'm so proud. How are you? I'm good, honey. Good. This is pretty spectacular views. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh. They're the twisty twisties with the uh, rocky ledges. <laughs> and then these little woo, drop offs off to the side. That's pretty awesome. Uh oh. We are not going to fly through here. We'll just gingerly enjoy it. Gingerly. I'm okay with gingerly. Seeing as how I've got a rider with freaking capri pants. What? What? But that's all right. Still beautiful. Sorry, my chaps are washed. <laughs> we forgot to boost the leather boostier in chaps. Dang it. Chaps. Gosh, isn't that gorgeous out there, babe? Yeah. See, this is where you get to enjoy the view, and I get to just enjoy the pavement right in front of you. <laughs> Fuck it. But it is pretty spectacular. Like you're my chauffeur. Oh, James. Oh, James. Here, George set up the camera so he could get a picture of us driving by, which looks great, but I always worry that someone's going to run off with our camera as we're driving off. <laughs> uh, so far, so good. Look at that, Robin. Enjoy the scenic outlook. Spot. Look at that, Rob. Oh, now that's a nice spot. Stop. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, great shot. Woo! Nice. And the drop. This was our trip to Lost Maples. Great hiking there and beautiful scenery. Lots of maple trees to view. And they told us the best time to come, of course, is in the fall, when the trees are changing color. But since it can depend a lot on the weather, uh, they said to check on Facebook, and they'll let you know when the leaves start to change color. So I thought that was a really good tip. 
So we'll keep an eye on that and see if we can try for that next fall to see the maple leaves changing color. Looking back on the last 10 years, I can genuinely say I have had some amazing times with friends and with Robin riding through some beautiful countryside. I would like to leave the rest of this video thinking of our dear friend Robbie who lost his life as we were riding back from South Texas from an incredible motorcycle ride that lasted several days. You will dearly be missed and you will never be forgotten.